The biggest money in the world is standing for delivery. The biggest money in the world is accumulating gold when the rest of us are asleep at the switch. That's what's really different this time is, is an awakening. I believe that people are waking up to the fact that they, they realize that this in many respects is a function of the policies that, that the Fed has, has, has embarked upon and it is not sustainable long term. There's an old saying that it's easier to make money than it is to keep it. And I think that's what is playing into this expansion into what is a section or a swath of the public that we've never even knew existed. It's sad, but I think if, if you don't prepare, if you don't get out of the way of this, you're, um, you're going to be swept away just like everyone else as ultimately I think the dollar is in big trouble. They are destroying it right in front of us. They are destroying the value of it. And if you go modern monetary theory where you just print your way to prosperity, you go down the same road that Zimbabwe did. It doesn't work. And that's really what they're trying to do is just use the Federal Reserve to, to print our way through all of our problems. It doesn't work unless there's something standing behind it. And this is the whole premise of of, of gold backing a currency where governments will always choose the printing press over tough decisions like austerity. It just won't happen. So uh, this is why you own precious metals. It's not to get wealthy. Precious metals to me are wealth that have lived through two world wars and German hyperinflation and the Great Depression and every pandemic and they'll live through this too. And this is why I think for the last several years you're seeing massive money accumulating gold, whether it be the central banks, the commercial banks, uh, and now the heads are the, uh, the the sovereign wealth funds and the family offices. There's one trader right now on Comex one who's long forty thousand December gold contracts. Now this is the same group of people, in my opinion, this group that the Comex Commitment to Traders Report titles the others. They're not the the hedge fund speculators, and they're not the commercial banks. They're private managed money. One trader has amassed 40,000 December contracts. They've been standing for delivery for the last year, and I believe this will also post for delivery in just a few weeks. That's 4 million ounces of gold. That's 7.5 billion in gold with an initial margin deposit of over $350 million. Who's got that kind of money? People are waking up to that uh, in this country. They're, they're concerned, I think, that we're not going back to normal, that this is the beginning of a new normal. I think a lot of people, the biggest concern that I hear is I don't want to leave my money in the banks. There is a growing mistrust of the banks. No one trusts the banks. And um, uh, I think that that is something that I hear every single day over and over and over again. The, the metals market is the pimple on the elephant's ass. I mean, that's the truth. Uh, there's so much money out there that's been created I mean, the money supply has, has increased almost 30% year over year. But again, let me just say what I said and, and I'll let this sink in. 50% of every dollar ever created in the history of the world, of this country rather, the United States, has been done so in, in, in under the last two years. So there's so much money out there that has found its way into equity prices and real estate prices. Price distortion and misallocation of capital uh, creates an environment where uh, price discovery is next to impossible. And that's what's happened with all this easy money. It's just blown things up to levels that are not justified by the underlying economy. And that's really the issue. And all of that money, all of that wealth that has been created, uh, will look for a, a refuge, will look for a safe place to go. And I think that's what's happening. And, and it's this K shape where the people who don't have assets are struggling to make ends meet as food and energy and housing. Oh, wait, those are the three things that aren't included in the government's measurement of inflation. But those are the three most inflated asset classes. The things that we need to live every day are getting more and more and more and more expensive. But if you're wealthy and have assets, your assets have gone parabolic. You don't care. You're making so much money hand over fist. Yeah, you notice it, but it doesn't bother you as much. You're just trying to figure out how you keep all of those profits when most of the, the country is figuring out how they can keep food on the table, keep their lights on, and keep enough gasoline in their car to get to and from work. I think these are challenging times, and I really believe will only get more challenging, not only by the policies that seem to be uh, quickly raining down upon us, but 
but also we are very late in the stages, I think, uh, of of the dollar Keynesian uh, economic experiment. And uh, I think if you are uh, have all of your assets in dollars at this stage of the game, you are destined to go broke when this plays out. And I think that is what is spurring this widening into the mainstream. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time, they get your life. You are not even in a rat race, you're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available, and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.